Hey everybody! So, as you probably know from the announcement video I did about it and the several videos I took on the Friday session, uh, this past weekend was the London MCM Expo slash London Comic Con, uh, which, uh, which I went to, which, which was a lot of fun! Which was a lot of fun, I had a really uh, great time uh, while I was there. Um, I met a couple of the fans there, I did meet a couple of fans, and that was... It was nice getting to talk to people. It's nice that people <laughs> still know who I am, even though I'm not nearly as well known as I used to be. My channel isn't even half of what it used to be, but but that's that's not a problem. I'm not saying that in a, in a wide sort of way. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, it was nice. I, I really appreciate people coming up to talk to me. It was it was nice. Um, so yeah, uh, I I had a lot of fun while I was there. One fan who came up to me did ask why I hadn't replied uh, to his comments where he recommended a certain anime to me. Um, guys, if I haven't replied to your comment, odds are it's just because I haven't found uh, the time to because I've had uh, things going on in my day-to-day -day life. It's not its not that I haven't read it, it doesn't mean I necessarily haven't read it, it just means I haven't found the time to reply. But also, sometimes people ask me questions and I can't actually reply to their comments. There is actually no reply button uh, because they've got their settings set so I can't reply to their comments unless I'm in their circles or whatever. I don't know how all this Google Plus stuff works. But yeah, for whatever reason I can't reply to your comments. So guys, if you're going to ask me a question, make sure I can reply uh, to your comments. I, I don't know why you've got it set so I can't, uh, I can't reply to your comment. I mean, if you're afraid of people saying nasty things to you when you leave a comment on YouTube, well, you should should really be on this website in the first place because that's just what people do, you just need to learn to shake it off. So guys, if you're going to ask me a question, do make sure I can reply to your comment because there's been a lot of times I really want to answer your questions but I just can't because um, you don't have it set so I can reply. So uh, yeah, so if you're going to ask me a question, just um, please do make sure that I can reply. And if for whatever reason I don't reply, it it doesn't mean I don't care or that I haven't read it, it's just because I have things going on. But I do I have, I have, do read all your comments, I read every single one, so you can rest assured if you've commented on my videos, I have seen it. So I suppose it's tradition to show off the merchandise haul um, that I got at a convention when I'm doing a post-convention wrap-up. So, yeah, I guess I'll show off the stuff I got. I didn't get a heck of a lot because... Um, well, as I explained in my post-Japan uh, video, I'm not like the fanatic that I used to be. And plus I'm running out of space in my room. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm not like... the. I don't buy things blindly like I used to. But I did get some um, interesting stuff. I got some neat stuff. I got this um, this t-shirt that I'm wearing. I uh, don't know if you can see it too well. It's, um, it's, it's an arrow t-shirt and it says... Uh, it's of green arrow pointing and it says, You have failed this city. I thought that was pretty funny, so I got it. So I got this t-shirt that I'm wearing. Um, as you saw in my Friday, um, MCM Friday videos, and I'll get to in a minute why I didn't do ones for Saturday and Sunday, but anyway, as you saw in my MCM Friday video, I got the Legacy Dragon Dagger because I thought this thing was amazing. This, <laughs> this thing is epically awesome and just had a little nostalgia freak out and uh, got myself the Legacy um, Dragon Dagger. It's uh, it's a lot heavier than I thought it would be. This is this is definitely for the adult collector. This is definitely not for your kids. This is definitely for the adult collector because there is some weight to this thing. Um, but yeah, the Lucy Dragon Dagger. That's pretty cool. Uh, maybe I'll cosplay as the Green Ranger in the future, even though everybody cosplays as the Green Ranger. Um, <laughs> uh, I I was unique. I was the Pink Ranger. <laughs> um, and I'll find some way of incorporating that into a. KHF video, maybe he controls Robocena remotely with it, I don't know. Uh, in other Power Rangers merchandise, I did get the uh, Dino Charge Morpher, um, purely because it was £15 and it came with a free t-shirt, which is currently in the wash, so I can't show you the t-shirt, but maybe I'll show it in a later video. But the t-shirt was pretty cool, the t-shirt was worth it, I'd say, so. Uh, th this thing, it's fine. It's fine, but as I said in the Friday video, the orange caps annoy me because this could so easily be mistaken for a real gun because it's bright yellow and in the, in the shape of a dinosaur. You know, because all real guns look like this. Uh, I should have got the Kuryuja version. Anyway, the only other things I got were DVDs. I got, uh, I got Slayer's Revolution and Slayer's Evolution R. 
very creative titles there. <laughs> but yeah, I got the um, DVDs of the Slayers reboots because I like Slayers, what can I say? And I also got the film Wolf Children uh, on DVD because I, I've heard a lot of good things about this film and it came Afro Otaku recommended. <laughs> yeah, my friend Afro Otaku really loves this film, so uh, I, you know, I thought I'd uh, check it out. Um, I know it's by the same people who did uh, The Girl Who Leapt Through Time, and I wasn't incredibly fond of that film, but um, you know, I hear that I hear this film's really good, so hopefully I'll enjoy it. Um, I'll, hopefully I'll enjoy it. We'll we'll see what happens. And these aren't really murdered as well. I, I suppose they kind of are. They kind of are. They're um, they're more mementos, I'd say, though, of the of the day. I did get my picture professionally taken with Ali Hillis, um, who is absolutely lovely, who I love. This will be my wedding picture someday. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. Uh, gosh, uh, like I say, I really don't know when people are going to take me seriously, but yeah, I got my uh, photo professionally done with Ali Hillis. I'll have to find a frame for that, and I also got my photo professionally taken with Willa Holland, who, <laughs> again, was lovely, and, um, I'm never washing this cheek again. <laughs> I'm joking. Uh, but yeah, both of them were really lovely. Both of them loved my costume. Like, Ali Hillis said, I looked amazing. And Willa Holland's exact words, I, I'm not kidding about this, her exact words were, What's up? <laughs> when she saw my costume. So yeah, they both loved my costume. So yeah, that was... Oh, that was great. Um... But yeah, um, I'll get back to those photos in a minute though, because I have a lot to say on how they do things at MCM. But um, yeah, it, it was a lot of fun. Um, reason there aren't videos of Saturday and Sunday is because, well, those days were a lot busier and I was having a lot, of, a lot more fun on those days, so I didn't really get to take video. I might, um, I'm considering starting up a um, Instagram account to show uh, the photos I took um, on that day because, you know, obviously a lot of my fans will want to see uh, the photos of the convention so I, I might do that, but yeah, there's no videos of, there's not even a heck of a lot of, po of photos from uh, Saturday and Sunday because I was just doing so much, um, but yeah, um, there's no videos because I didn't have the chance to take videos, so sorry about that. Anyway, as cool as it was having these photos done, and I'm going to start this off by saying something nice. Um, the way they did the cues for these photos was really good because um, basically you just went in, you said hello, how you doing, got your picture taken, then you left. They, they kept it swift, they didn't really let us have much of a chat, which is a shame, but it's understandable. It's to keep the queue moving so people aren't waiting in line uh, for too long, which was especially good with the Willa Holland line, because that line was really long. Um, in fact, we actually, with the Willa Holland line, <laughs> the, the, a guy actually came up to me, my friend, and um, actually said to me that I was going to be a signpost, because my costume's so bright. And, like, basically, he took us and a bunch of other people over to the other side, like, like, we were up against one wall, he took us to the other side of the wall, and so we were line B. So, we kind of had to not only wait for the line of people in front of us who were getting waiting to get their pitch table with somebody else to, to be done, but we also had to wait for line A to be gone before we could move. But, it kept it, they kept it moving quite, quite frequently. They, um, they did it really well, um, because they didn't let people faff about, which was good. That was, that was very good, that was very well organised, that meant... People weren't waiting around too long. Photo collection, however, was not very well organised. And you can ask anybody who attended the convention this past weekend and um, had a photo done with a celebrity, and they will tell you the same. Photo collection was organised like crap, basically. So, when I went to um, collect my photo with Ali Hillis, the queue was incredibly long. It was... It was actually longer than the queue to, um, to get my photo taken with her, but it was because people were getting their photos they'd taken with other people. I know most people were, um, there for, um, to collect photos they'd taken with Felicia Day, which I unfortunately couldn't do because tickets for that was sold out. But anyway, um, yeah, so people were there to, you know, the line was long because multiple people collecting different photos. But it wasn't just as simple as go to the front of the queue, they find your photo, give it to you, then you leave, next person goes, oh no! <laughs> oh 
oh no, because that would have been the smart thing to do. No, instead, what they did, instead, they got a pile of photos and would have one person stand up and hold them up, like hold them up, flash them around so a load of people could see them, and then someone would have to raise their hand and claim it. Does that make sense to you? Because it certainly doesn't to me. <laughs> it's un it's like, um, and considering how long the line was, odds are, like, you know, people aren't gonna come to the photo booth necessarily in the order they had their photo taken because we had to wait an hour for them to develop. So people aren't coming back in the exact order they had their photo taken. So doing that is completely pointless because that person you're flashing the photo of might not even be in the queue yet, or if they are, they might be right at the back and can't see you at the front. So that was ridiculously stupid. And what makes it so much worse is that it was literally only one person doing this with one set of photos at a time. Like, she'd go through the Felicia Day photos, then uh, when people won't claim them, oh, let's switch to the Ali Hillis photos. Oh, people aren't doing that, let's switch to the Mike Mir photos, etc. One person doing all that, which is completely ridiculous. Like, why they could not just have more people down there, just each assigned to a section with a different celebrity, and then we all line up to said section, to collect our photos. You know, yeah, it's not like it would be difficult to tell whose photo it is because you can see our blinking faces. And like, getting to the front of the queue was absolutely worthless because it didn't necessarily mean you were gonna get your photo. I was at the front of the queue and I still had to wait ages before I could get my photo. In fact, there was a guy behind me who literally just reached down, looked through the photos, grabbed his and then just um, left, which, quite honestly, I don't blame him. He's already paid for it. He's, um, you know, if it's right there and, Stuff so might as well just take it, but it was absolutely positively like, ridiculous. Only advantage I had was that my um, costume was so bright I could spot the fo photo when they were holding it up a mile away. But you know, still, it still made absolutely zero sense the way they were doing it. <laughs> like my friend and I, um, my friend and I were waiting in that queue for, for a good hour, I would say, um, to get my photo taken. Uh, my photo of me and Ali Hillis. In fact, um, my f in fact, by the time we were done, it was time for Willa Holland's photo shoot. And in fact, I even said to my friend, "You might as well go to that because, um, you know, I'm collecting the photo. You might as well go on ahead of me. I'll meet you there." <laughs> it was taking that ridiculously long when it didn't need to. <laughs> it's just MCM. You amaze me how for every everything, <laughs> everything you fix, you manage to find a way to do something wrong as well. It's just, that's incredible. That's incredible. All the things you were uh, actually, actually had running smoothly this time, in fact a lot better than you have in the past, um, it amazes me that this could be messed up so badly with people who clearly didn't know what they were doing. And what was, and what was particularly annoying was eventually um, people started just cutting through this um, big line, acting like they were going to get autographs, because this was right by the autograph section, but no, they were actually just cutting through to get to the... Um, to the photo collection section, which, that's just bloody rude. That, I'm sorry, sorry guys, but that is just bloody rude. Um, because we had been waiting for ages. What gives you the right to um, have priority and cut through us, honestly? But, yeah, it was, it was so stupid. Um, when we went to get off, oh, this is the kicker. This is the kicker. When we went to have our Willa Holland photos collected, my friend and I, um, okay, so they were, they were, to their credit, showing the photos in the order they were taken. So, it would stand to reason then that my friend and I's photos would be one after the other. So when I saw mine, which again spot a mile off uh, because of my pink costume, you know, I raise my hand, I get my photo given to me. Sta my friend went right after me, stands to reason his should be next, right? Wrong. Where his was, I don't know. It was taken right after mine. Why wasn't it that? I don't know. So we were waiting while they were flashing the photos around and nobody was claiming them uh, because, for whatever reason, and they still hadn't gotten onto this fact or weren't letting people who were there collect their photos. Like, seriously, why give the photos out like as they're printed off? Why not wait until they're all printed off and then say people can come and collect them? But here's the kicker! Because so many people would begin to line up for different photos, what they did, they actually had some people go off with all the photos, all the finished photos all, that were all finally printed off, go to where the signing area was, and then if you were get hit there for a specific photo of taken with a specific celebrity, you could go to the signing section, line up in a specific queue for said celebrity, and then collect your photo. 
Why didn't you do that in the first place? I mean, seriously, okay, Willa Holland's currently doing a photo shoot. That means her autograph um, booth is free because she's not using it because she's having a photo taken. Guess what? She can't be in two places at once. So why didn't you just give out the printed, printed off photos from her autograph booth? <laughs> That's the logical thing to do, isn't it? Because she's not using it. Why shouldn't you? <laughs> that would make logical sense. Oh, and guess what? When you did finally um, start doing it from there, and by the way, they weren't doing it from Willa Holland's um, autograph booth, they were doing it from somebody else's, but who also wasn't at their booth at the time, but whatever. Um, when they did finally start doing it from there, like, the, the queue started moving a heck of a lot quicker. And it didn't occur to you that you should start doing this with just, with just, with every set of photos. It didn't dawn on you that this is the better method. Or better yet, why not introduce some sort of raffle system? You know, give people a number and then they come to you with their number and you're like, oh, okay, your number, your number 27. Oh, there's number 27. Here, you can have your photo. Wouldn't that have been easier? Would that have been the more logical thing to do? I mean, how difficult is it to buy a book of raffle tickets? Honestly, it's... And I think you have them for other things, so why don't you have them for this? It's... it baffles me. It's mind-boggling, really, how this could be so disorganised. <laughs> I even turned to my friend one point and said, um, WWE's diva division is more organised than this. Which made him, which, which made him laugh. But, yeah, um, I, I really don't know how, how you get to be that disorganised. How you mess up what should be a simple process that badly. When, like, you're, you're so well organised with how you're taking the photos, and so well organized with other things which were re really badly done um, in other years. How did you mess this up this badly? I, I, it blows my mind, honestly. It does, like, there's no way, I, I just can't believe anybody could lack this much common sense. I really don't, even, it's, I'm speechless, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry, this, it really annoyed me just that. I know I need to let it go, now I've got this all out of my system, I can just let it go, but... It was just mind-boggling, honestly, how anyone could be this stupid. And I, I hate to use such blunt and, um, nasty terms, but it was just stupid. It really was. There was such a simple solution that even a child could have figured it out. Again, for all the things they were doing wrong, like the, the ticket, like, where you got your, um, ticket scanned, that was done so much better this time around if you'd bought your tickets online because they kept things moving very quickly. Even on Saturday, pe um, people who were coming on Saturday still got, um, who had priority tickets still got through very quickly. For once, priority tickets actually meant priority tickets. That was good. You fought, you learned. You learned but that was actually working this time. You learned. That was, that was a great job. Um, the way you did it with weekend, people who already had wristbands, weekend tickets, that was good on the Saturday. Um, I don't know why you did it the way you did on the Sunday because the Saturday, if you had a, if you got your ticket on the, if you got your wristband on the Friday, uh, on the Saturday you could go straight into the actual, uh, actual convention hall. But in, but on the Sunday, if you had a weekend wristband, you went out just outside the area where people were collecting their tickets. I, I don't know why you could have done it the same way on Sunday. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because otherwise it was fine. It was fine. That was good. But with the photo collection, this is not your first year doing photo shoots. Th this isn't the first time you've done this. How could you get it this wrong? How? Just how? Anyway, I know I've ranted and raved about this, but seriously, this was the only downside of the weekend. This was the only downside. Everything else was wonderful. Everything else was great. I had an absolutely fantastic time. That was seriously the only downside. You know, um, I had a great time. Gideon Emery, lovely guy. Really cool guy. Really enjoyed meeting him. He was so nice. Um, yeah, um, yeah, he's really, he was really cool. Uh, Ali Hill is still as lovely as ever, and I will marry her. I'm joking. <laughs> um, but Ali Hill is still as lovely as ever. Willa Holland, lovely, lovely, um, lovely person. Absolutely, um, absolutely a delight. Um, but yeah, that photo collection though. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, it was a great weekend. Had a great time. Loved meeting you fans. Anyway, um, this video has gone on much longer than it should have. So I'm going to go now. So I will see everybody later.